Officials from Japan's Environment Ministry say they will delay some decontamination work in Fukushima Prefecture. They've pushed back the cleanup of homes and farmland in the evacuation zones until late March. A law which takes effect next month requires the state to decontaminate areas of high radiation. The government is now using model projects to find the most effective way to achieve this. Spokespersons for the Environment Ministry had said they hope to start work on the restricted areas as early as January. They still expect workers to begin decontaminating infrastructure such as roads and reservoirs. But work on houses and agricultural land will be delayed. It will take time to get permission from evacuees to decontaminate homes and farmland. And it will be tough to secure temporary storage sites for contaminated topsoil. The government hopes to transfer all decontaminated soil to temporary storage by March 2014, except for areas with particularly high radiation levels. Japan's Environment Ministry has compiled guidelines for the removal of radioactive materials discharged from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. The 164-page guidelines with illustrations cover ways to measure radiation levels and remove radioactive substances. They also show how to collect, deliver and store radiation-tainted soil and other materials. The decontamination process will be different for buildings, roads, soil and plants. The guidelines recommend that water volume and pressure for decontaminating buildings should be adjusted as excessive amounts may cause the dispersion of radioactive materials. It says moss and dead leaves should be manually removed before high-pressure sprays are used to save water. It adds that the used water should not be drained but collected in buckets. The guidelines propose the use of separate containers for different levels of radiation contaminated soil. They also give the safe distances of storage spaces from residential areas. Ministry officials say they hope the guidelines can facilitate the implementation of a plan to build temporary storage facilities, as residents will have a clearer idea of the decontamination process. Depression is affecting one out of three teachers in disaster-hit Miyagi Prefecture. Stress is the likely cause. A local teachers' union is calling for more psychological care. The union conducted a survey of teachers at public elementary and junior high schools in the prefecture in September and October. 30.5% of the teachers revealed they've experienced mild to moderate depression. The percentage of teachers reporting moderate depression was twice as high in the hardest-hit coastal cities. These include Ishinomaki and Higashi Matsushima. Many teachers complained that their workloads have increased since the disaster. Sunday marks nine months since the massive earthquake and tsunami hit northeastern Japan on March 11th. Those that survived the disaster are now facing a harsh employment situation. In affected areas, more than 66,000 people were receiving unemployment benefits as of October. But for most of them, benefits will start to expire next month. In the hardest hit prefectures of Iwate, Miyagi and Fukushima, only 4,500 people found a full-time job in October. Although short-term employment is increasing, few companies have restored operations to pre-disaster levels. There aren't enough stable jobs to help rebuild the livelihoods of affected people. Meanwhile, the National Police Agency says the number of dead or missing from the disaster in the Tohoku region stood at 19,270 as of Friday.